Have you ever noticed how clean the air smells after a rain? The rainwater is actually washing and cleaning the air of contaminants. While the rain is actually removing contaminants from the air, it can also create another problem for the rainwater user. The rain also washes different types of contaminants into the water you collect. For example, bird poop on your roof could end up in your water barrel or tank. Rainwater can also carry bacteria, parasites, viruses, and chemicals that could make you sick. And rainwater has been linked to various waterborne disease outbreaks around the world. I've seen snakes and other animals end up in a rainwater tank and die. Now that's an ugly picture, isn't it? I'm not trying to tell you that you shouldn't use rainwater. What I am telling you is to use rainwater responsibly. It's so simple to treat rainwater to a high level of purity, but I'm often shocked to see little to no treatment by people who have some amazingly elaborate rainwater systems. I saw a very sophisticated rainwater system recently in the Arizona desert where the only treatment was a pour over type pitcher at the kitchen sink. What happens when you take a shower? There can be bacteria and other things you don't know about in that water. About 12 years ago, I was in Haiti where we were providing some water treatment to some of the poorest people on the planet. We stayed at an orphanage and were told not to drink the water as it was contaminated. They had bottled water stations set up all over the place. However, just showering in the contaminated water left me with a double eye infection. Have you ever seen kids drink out of a hose? How about washing your face or brushing your teeth? Some of these rainwater harvesting systems are very sophisticated and cost thousands or tens of thousands of dollars to the user. Our biggest and most sophisticated rainwater purification system only cost a couple of thousand dollars and we have smaller ones. That said, there can be some variations. Every case can be different. Why? Water quality varies, roof materials vary, bird poop varies, it really does. In some cases, you might have to deal with bat poop. Vents, drains, and other connecting pipes need to have screens to prevent bugs, spiders, snakes, and frogs, and other organisms from entering the system. In some cases, algae may proliferate and chlorination might be necessary. Rainwater harvesting can be life-saving to some people. Don't blow it by having contaminated water. It's way too easy to have purified water at every tap inside and outside your home. At U.S. Water Systems, we do not sell rainwater harvesting tanks, piping, water gathering components, and the like. But we do what we do best. We purify your rainwater so that it is the best water this side of heaven. Cheers.